What up, what up, what up? What is going on, guys? We have a very special video for you guys today. My main man, Mr. Zeddy15, also known as just Zeddy, uh, went ahead and hit me up. Is like, yo, uh, is it cool if I go on ahead and show your subscribers a 4 3 over scheme that I got for defense? And I'm like, hell yeah, I know the people that watch me would love some free defensive advice. If you guys don't know Zeddy, man, he is one of the most well respected guys in the the um the uh what is the word I'm, I'm looking the competitive scene there we go the competitive scene like everybody knows him and uh, he also commentates you should see his link in the description also on the screen and also there it is right there man and i got a chance to talk to him um a little bit after one of the madden challenges um in the chat for quite some time and it's the first time i've ever actually got to talk to him man very very cool down to earth chill guy man and so um, I'm very, very excited to, uh, you know, show this to you guys, and hopefully this can help you guys get better. You know what I mean? Um, I definitely love that uh, he wanted to uh, hook you guys up with a free scheme, so check out his YouTube channel, and like I said, man, hopefully this improves your guys' defense a little bit, get some blisses, man, definitely show love to Zeddy, link is in the description, annotation above, go on ahead, subscribe to him, let him know GS sent you, so let's get into the free scheme that he did specifically for the Gold Nation. Hope you guys enjoy it, man. I'm out. Peace. What's up, my dude? It's your boy, Zeddy, a.k.a. the most country man in Madden. And today, courtesy of Mr. Golden Sports, I'm proud to bring you guys a nice mini scheme for the next-gen Madden out of a 4-3 over formation. Now, we're going to be set up to work out of any play in a 4-3 over formation, so feel free to use whichever coverage you want behind your blitzes. Which is very nice when you can do that, because you can definitely mix it up for your opponents who doesn't know what's going to be coming. Alright, right off the bat, we're going to be picking to play Fireman just to get the hang of a blitz scheme that we're doing. And as soon as you come out of a huddle, you're going to spread your line and spread your linebackers. Now, depending on the formation, you may want a man a line and may not. So it all depends on the formation if it looks like your guys are not lining up right. Now what you want to do is spread your line, spread your linebackers, as I said, and crash your D-line down or to the middle. Crash the middle, as it says right there. Then you're going to bring this guy out about. Brown will have the slot receiver line up about right here, and we blitz him for the left edge. And all we want to do, drop these three guys on the right, into whatever we want. You can have a spot, probably put a spot in it just in case. Then you snap the ball, and get him three-man right edge heat. That's very nice. Like we said, we can do this out of any play. Spread your line, spread your linebackers, crash your D-line down. But now when we're doing the right edge heat, like I said, move this dude out. Like I said, you might want to man line depending on the formation. Now all you want to do is re-blitz this linebacker right here. You can re-blitz him, hit RB or R1 on PS4. And hit your right stick to the right, which will re-blitz him without having to click onto him. And if all goes well, you should be getting B got like that. He got picked up for some reason, so we will do it again. He wasn't technically in his right spot. He's supposed to be you want him right behind the D tackle. So we'll do that again. And Rice is lined up in the slot. No more in case he's not lined up perfect. Let me snap the ball, please. Thank you. And you see, bam, big gap, sending three people. So that's really nice. Now you can get three men edge heat off one side or big gap off the other. And you, like I said, you can do this up any play in the formation, as I was telling you. Now, another nice thing is here, I forgot to spread the line before that, so I have to do this with a lineup right. Like I said, make sure you spread them before they set because they line, do line up different, even if they don't look like it to your naked eye. If you look at it closely, they do. And also, to get the left edge heat, if you try to put him right here and he blitz him so it comes in faster, you think he's in because you've got less distance. Now, this tackle will pick him up, so you have to have him about where the slot receiver will be. Now, what we're going to do here is do the same setup, but we're going to leave everyone blitzing, and what this should get is double pressure. Gonna take the snap See, bam. The now we're getting B-gap and left edge at the same time, just screaming really good for third or fourth and long opponent for situations against your opponent. Now, I said fourth and long because we all know everyone goes on fourth down. Nobody punts. <laughs> so then, like I was saying, you could do this out of any play. So let's pick. So I don't know what play I want to pick. Just pick a play. 
found, found something there, halfback angle. Now you can do this out of a two man under. Spread your line, spread your linebackers, crash your D line down, purple, spy, you know you're on the goal lines, I put him in a yellow, bring this dude over, blitz him, you know, do whatever you want. And this, I'll check him run backwards. I'm going to run backwards anyway because this is not the best situation. But as you see, oh, it, even at two man under, we're getting three man edge heat. Now we'll do it right here. Now, why I picked it right there, I have a tendency to no huddle. <laughs> we'll do it again. Two man under. Watch the coverage on this. I can get my man. My control has been acting up, really aggravating. Look at this. Now everyone's manned up except the slot. And I have a purple. I meant to spy him, but I have a purple there in case they put the running back out on a wheel route or something. So I can just cover Y myself. Or I can put him in a yellow and use him as safety and cover him. If, but if I do this, I still have everyone, man, have everyone manned up plus two safeties up top and a spy. And then we're getting three man edgy out of it. So that's very good coverage. You're not really going to find better coverage than that out of a blitz that still comes in and it is on slide protectable. I believe a big gap might be slap technical, but I know this edge heat is not if you move him out far enough. So then, like I said, you could do the same thing out of a two-man under, but have the big gap now. See? Now do the same thing. So now we're getting big gap. Now he did, like I said, sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't to come in if he's not lined up exactly right on a big app. It's a little trickier. Now the edge heat is pretty, pretty much self-explanatory how to get that. Like I was saying, though, he's supposed to be lined. You want him lined up pretty much behind the deep tackle. So if he's up too far over like this, sometimes he won't come in. If you get him over the deep tackle, it should be pretty consistent. Now you can do whatever you want. Like I was saying, it's two men under. And we're screaming through the big gap like that. Only rushing three people. And that's the two man under coverage. So especially with a team like Seattle, I apologize for using the best team in the game, but I just want to shove a blitz its full potential. So with us Seattle corners, you know how they press, so you're really gonna put some pressure on your opponent because none of his routes are gonna have time to even get open and all of a sudden you're screaming in space. So now we can show you left edge, right B gap, double it double pressure. Now it's good to have a good fag D out of it. Now I know a lot of people don't like fag D, but the nature of a game is it's it just works. So it's definitely something you gotta mix in, regardless of your skill. So let's do the same look. Move this guy out. Now, like I said, you don't have to move him out for necessary for if you know unless you're doing a left edge heat. But you don't want your opponent to know what you're doing. So it's good to move this guy out. So he's just to make him fear. Make, oh man, he's moving that dude out. He's probably doing left edge heat. You know, it's that three men. So he's going to be scared of that. So it's good to do it if you get a chance, even if you're not doing it. Now, what I like to do here, I would man up this guy on whoever I think is going to be doing a crossing route or put him in a yellow and spy everyone. I mean, you could spy this guy, put this guy in a man or a yellow to help you cover the middle. And depending on your how good of users you have, if you got those GS biblical users, you can use it for safety. But if you just if you just get them trying to get better at the game, stick to your middle linebacker. And you got both ends rushing, so as you see, even though we're only rushing two, we're getting good pressure regardless. I don't want no I know huddled again. Now we do the same thing as our last setup. We're gonna be going out two man under. Spread our line, spread our linebackers. Now you can rush one or two, it's all dependent on you. Like if this guy's doing some kind of um, corner route over here to Y, you could optionally individually cover shade outside, but you could put this guy in a purple, do something like this. Only rushing one, or you can leave both ends rushing. All depending on you, whatever you want. But you see, you still don't have all day, even though you're only rushing one player. That's why it's called Fag D, because it is pretty gay. <laughs> now, guys, um, if you like tips like this, I provide tips like this pretty regularly on my my personal eBay, or I don't know said eBay, personal YouTube page. Um, the link should be in the description. Maybe something on the screen. I'm not sure how it's going to go. But um, and I post gameplays occasionally. I probably post three or four videos a week, so I'm not like GS every day. I'm barely getting in a Madden Ultimate team lately. Posting that a lot, a lot of card openings and pack openings stuff. But I'll post 
ranked games, games against my friends, money games, pretty much anything. Time I get a good game that I've been recording, I'll put it up for you guys. And um, definitely have my money plays in offense and defense for you guys. So if, if you like what you're seeing here, feel free to go over and check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And if not, just enjoy this three mini scheme regardless. So anyways, guys, until next time, it's your boy Zeddy, and I'm out.